Now, the reaction in jail. Nipsey Hussle, he gets killed. Everybody finds out in jail. What is it like? That shit, I, I didn't know that many niggas. I'm talking about Ops was crying, nigga. That shit was like a sad week in that motherfucker. Like, the police had to turn off the fucking parade after the funeral type shit because everybody was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Just like not fit of the situation. You feel what I'm saying? But the Mexicans loved him. You know what I'm saying? Mexicans loved him to death. They had all that he was high. Nigga can't, he wasn't disrespecting nobody else, so niggas was fucking with him. Yeah. You think he made it popular in LA to the Crips wear red and you know the bloods wear blue? Did that is that something that Nipsey kind of started? Because you know, all his all his album covers were really red. No, I think that was him going against the eye. Hey, going against you know what I'm saying? But we always, we always wore whatever the fuck we wanted in LA. Like, uh, that shit is some shit that happens out of town. Like, we'd be blued up, like, cause that's our color. Like, you get what I'm saying? But we wear whatever the fuck we want, cause we really guerrilla warfare, like, Nigga ain't giving up our rag. Niggas really getting killed over just wearing the wrong color out here. So a motherfucker playing disguise and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker wear what they want to wear out here. Out out on the other cities, they blue rag, blue this, this, this rag around the head. You don't see niggas dressing like that in LA. They once one block unless you in the backyard or the apartments or something. Then niggas got their rags out and all that shit. Cause niggas ain't just walking down the street with their rags hanging. You know what I'm saying? Nigga know what's up. Like, nigga, that for years, he probably got a big old strap on him. Or high off drugs, shit. You said even the ops were crying in jail and shit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It was a lot of niggas like, like, ain't no telling, like, like, supposedly something happened to the nigga the other day. Like, ain't no telling where them niggas is from. That, that wasn't the gang that did that. That for sure, 100% wasn't probably the homies that did that. Nigga, the guards, the guards was crying. The guards fuck with him. Now, back to Cowboy. He says, uh, none of y'all were at court to support him. He feels like nobody's supporting Nip right now. Nobody's showing up to court. He, he was even saying none of y'all even have to take the stand. Just be there to support Nip and, and see what's going on. Well, how I feel about that is... I I don't know, but I don't even know if Black Sam is going to court every day. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like a nigga revisiting, you showing the dead body. Like, if anybody ever been to a trial, niggas ain't been to trial. So first and foremost, you showing my boy body, you laying it up there with the holes in the head and all the little blood leaking out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really like doing something to a nigga brain, first and foremost. So it's like, don't nobody want to see their boy victimized like that, first and foremost. So, and, and then second of all, a motherfucker's not going down there because me, I know that knowing both sides, motherfuckers blame, motherfuckers' families blame their friends for them being in jail for life or dead. Like, oh, you should never hang around. You should never hung with you. You should never fuck with y'all. And you know that energy be weird. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody reached out to me in a loving manner yet. You get what I'm saying? So a motherfucker not, I'm not just finna go startle the people that's losing both of their kids right now. One they ain't never gonna see their kid because of the wrong decision. And another one ain't gonna see their kid to a wrong decision, but he did. Like you gonna see your kid, but you'll never be able to have your kid there again. So it's like, that's another reason. And then it's like, who else is sitting in it? Who else is at this trial? What you want a motherfucker to follow a nigga home to the car, know what type of car he got? Like the police, the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro, niggas is still outside. So it's like, to, it's only to a certain extent. We can go march for nip. We can go do whatever. But that courthouse and that police station, I don't know too many gangbangers that do that. I mean, how many times a cowboy been in jail? How many court dates had a homies been to with his? Like, I mean, homies came to visit him. Like, you know how it goes out that courtroom. 